Hey everybody, this is David again at Barnyard Bees. I've got an idea for another video I want to share. Anytime I'm out here in the bee yard, I, I just, I never plan the videos. It just when I come across something that I think needs shared or people don't know about, then I'll, I'll stop, pull my phone out, I film everything from my phone, and, uh, and then I'll record the video. Okay. As you can notice, the yard's cleaned up today. Got everything picked up. I got the son-in-law to weed eat for me. I mowed, everything looks clean. A lot better than it did yesterday's video. So here's today's video. On this first row here, and the last row, is where we did on the previous video you saw where we confined the queen for 10 days to, to uh, entice them into producing queen cells which they did and as I'm going now you got to remember when you do splits um, it's not always a hundred percent sometimes you'll come and look and the queen when she goes on a, a flighting mating flight she doesn't always return and the reason being there's so much out there She's got so many predators. There's uh, barn swallows, dragonflies, purple martins are bad, anything like that. Uh, they'll come back and maybe they'll fly in the wrong hive. Like this hive right here, which she's, there's a queen in there. I just checked, but I just wanted to show you something. Uh, that is one reason why we turn every box, alternate, forward and backwards one forward one back and then also on top of that there's different colors that increases your your percentage of mating coming back so say if you have a, a stand and they're solid white and they're all facing the same direction that queen can get really confused when she comes back she doesn't know she'll fly in the wrong one she's mated therefore she's full of pheromones they, they don't have a, a pheromone smell as strong until they mate once they mate then they have that smell and it's not familiar to that hive they'll ball her up and they'll kill her it's as simple as that and then you check and you're like where's my maid of queen she never come back well she may have she may have went in the wrong box or she may have got eaten by something so it's not 100 percent. so that's why you got to do numbers you want to do uh, a lot of splits you want to come back with 70 percent mated or even 50% or whatever you, you can get. But here's one way to tell by opening the box pretty quick without even pulling a frame out. Um, when I do the splits, we, we just have like one frame of bees and it'll have a queen cell on it. And that's about it. We'll put a blank on both sides and that's about it. Well, when as soon as I opened this box, I could see the numbers in here was double what I put in here originally at least double and that's one indication we got a mated queen in there and the reason being when she comes back on a mating flight and a lot of people don't know this she brings a whole lot of bees back with her uh, drones uh, workers they, they just all congregate to her and you wouldn't think that the workers would but they do because this hive has um, very few bees in it when I started out. It did have a few uh, cat cells in there, but not this many. And this works, it just, it's like every time you come up to a mated hive, there was another one I checked right there, same thing. And this one, I usually mark the tops of them, uh, like this one here. I went through it, couldn't find anything. I put a date and a question mark. So that means it tell me to come back and check because sometimes it takes them longer sometimes when they're on a mating flight it takes longer than a few days or a week it just depends it's just uh that's just how it goes in beekeeping you don't know so i'll mark it and before i do any take any action to add in another queen cell i'll give it a couple more days and then i'll check it again if nothing then i'll add another queen cell give it another chance so those, the population on those, because keep in mind, I put a frame and brood in there just like I did here, the same amount of bees. The population in there is not even half of what the population here is. 
So that in itself is proof. And, and, and I do this so much, and every time I open it up, I look and I see a number of bees, I'm like, oh, there's a made of queen in here, even before I pull a frame up. So that's one way to tell. That's a good way to tell. So, and they seem to be working a lot harder also. That's always a, once they get a mated queen, they pick up the pace really hard and heavy. Um, when they have nothing, they're in a lot more of a limbo state of mind, kind of. They're not, uh, Oh yeah, I checked on eBay today, guys. Uh, my tripod is on its way. I was gonna see if I could spot her because I just had did a second ago. Of course, she may have went down on the side of the box. You never know. But I can assure you, she's in there. I saw her. And look for that. As soon as you open that box up, you're looking for a mated queen. Your population will indicate to you. Same way with those mini mating nukes down there. Same way, every time I would go through those, I see the population, I say, oh, she's in here, even before I'd look for eggs. And this here, you, I know you won't be able to see it on the camera, but there's eggs inside. Extreme close up. Okay. I'm not going to be able to spot her now. She was on this frame. She's probably walked down the side or, or stepped over on the neck. Oh, no. I thought I saw her there for a second, was it? Okay. Sometimes they go up under the other bees to keep hid. Uh, new bees, that, that's another thing. Uh, new queens can be extremely shy, especially a mated queen, or an unmated queen, sorry. They can be really shy at first. And as they get older, like when you, when I'm going through the highs, these older queens, they could care less. They don't pay any attention to you, but these new ones, they're really skittish. And, and maybe that's in their instinct to be skittish because there's predators everywhere. And once they get in the hive, then they're, they, they, over a period of time, they feel safe. But, I thought that was a good piece of information to share with everybody. I've never talked about that before. But pull that top off. Look, when you see a, a good population in your, your hive, a lot more than you know that you did splits in, think of right away, I got a mated queen in there. But I just wanted to share that. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.